Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1983 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Minnesota Twins at the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. On the mound for the Tigers today is Danny Jackson, whose record is 1-0 with a 0 ERA. And pitching for the Twins today is Tom Clowitter whose record is 16-9 with a 3.44 ERA. Okay, so the Tigers got a nice victory yesterday. We won 7-4. Rosema did not pitch well. Uh, once again, he went five innings. We yanked him out of there. And the bullpen kept us in it so that we could come back and uh, win, the vic uh, win the game 7-4. Uh, to four. So uh, we won two out of three against the Royals, and now we play the Twinkies for four games uh, on the road. It's our final series of the year against Minnesota. And uh, we've got Danny Jackson going today. This will be the last start for Danny Jackson, and then we will go to a four-man rotation the rest of the year. So that means that uh, I guess Jack Morris will get each of one of our major pitchers will get four more starts, right? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So Morris will get four more starts. All of our rotation will get four more starts with the exception of Dave Rosema, which will only get three. So I think we can get by on that. Um, you know, if we... We did give everyone the day off yesterday, so everyone on our team is rested, with the exception of Alan Tramble, who will take today off. And then with these two off days built into the schedule, uh, we shouldn't have to rest anybody the rest of the way. So, uh, okay, let's get started with today's ball game. Oh, you know what? I am so sorry. Let's take a look at the Minnesota Twins real quick. Get overly anxious for a victory. Let's take a look at the Twinkies. Uh, they have suffered multiple pitchers' injuries all throughout the season. I believe that Frank Sweet Music Viola will be back. Maybe this series. Let's take a look. Scoot down. Yeah, Viola will be uh, back in two games. He's been out the whole year. And I, I guess it's possible we could see him this series. Again, a four-game series. So we shall see. Uh, top prospects, we do have Jay Bell, awesome baseball player. Hall of Very Good, uh, Troy Neal, who had a lot of pop. Rich DeLucia had a couple, you know, two, three years of uh, being a solid major league starter. They have some expiring contracts. Uh, Doug, Doug Corbett, who is their closer, I believe, um, he will be uh, looking for more money. Okay, they are... What is that? 16 games under 500. Uh, with a loss today, they m will uh, only be able to do is a maximum of a 500 season. Uh, yeah. Um, team ERA around five. Again, that probably is stems from uh, so many starting pitchers being injured. But they do have one tremendous starting pitcher, and that is Tom Clowitter who we are facing today, I believe he has shut us out twice this year. Doug Corbett leading the team in saves. Hoskin Powell, uh, free agent, has a 300 batting average. Big Daddy Cecil Fielder leading the team with 28 home runs. Mike Fishlips has 18 stolen bases. Let's take a look at the uh, stadium editor real quick. Here's the uh, Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. Left-handed batters uh, are less likely to hit a home run here, 9% less likely. Uh, Right-handed batters, 17% more likely to hit home runs. Hits of 15%. Hits for right-handers, 19% above average. So right-handers certainly um, have the advantage. There's two left-handers on the mound today. So uh, we might see a couple bombs. Uh, Doubles, 20% more likely. Triples, 21% more likely. Strikeouts, slightly up. Double plays and errors are less likely in this park. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the ball game. As we flip back to the Tigers uh, page. 
As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like, and or subscribe to the channel. We are down to our final 16 games of the season. We do have the uh, 1980 Detroit Lions alternate history season starting this Sunday, September 11, two, in two days. Uh, if you're not in on the contest that uh, corresponds with that season, get in on it. We'll have the video right uh, after today's video. You can um, click on it uh, at the end of this game. So, Okay, all of the bullpen is available. Of course, Danny Jackson had a great debut. He has never faced the Twins. Here's our lineup versus Tom Clowitter. Batting, oh, I don't need to go down the lineup because we're going to deal it here momentarily, but you'll see uh, Jody Reed at shortstop in place of Trammell. He had a great day yesterday. Wow, Mickey Hatcher down to a 75. He just dropped from a 78 overall down to a 75. I guess that's what happens here at the end of the year. This might have something to do with Tom Clowitter, too. I, I don't know. I don't understand these things. I'm just going with the flow, yo. Oops. I'm really struggling overall here. There we go. Okay, here's the Tigers lineup for today. Batting leadoff. Playing second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting second at shortstop is Jody Reed. Batting second and DHing is Mickey Hatcher. Batting cleanup playing third base is George Brett. Batting fifth in right field is Glenn Wilson. Batting sixth and catching is Lance Parrish. Batting seventh in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting eighth at first base is Greg Brock. And batting ninth in center field is Eddie Miller. Let's take a look at Tom Clowitter making his 30th start 16-9 with a 3.44 ERA. That is, um, by and large, the best performance by any Twins pitcher this year. 101 Ks and 209 innings pitched already. He does have 80 walks. Opponents are batting 2, 39 against him. Nine complete games, three shutouts. Let's look at his log. I want to say both, two of those shutouts were against us. No, he did have a complete game where he only gave up a run unearned. And then, yes, his previous start against Detroit, he did throw the shutout. So he's given up no earned runs in 18 innings pitched against us. He has thrown two other shutouts th since then. And what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six wins. Seven wins in his last 11 starts. Okay. And he was in, in the All-Star game, so pretty good pitcher. Here is the defense for the Minnesota Twins. Uh, we have a first and third. Both are terrible. Who is that? Oh, Big Daddy at first, and the third baseman is Dave Roberts. Yeah, not a great third baseman. Um, Dave Edwards in left field getting a start today. And also center field is Deion James, not a good center fielder. So advantage Detroit uh, based on the defense in there today. Okay, let's get started with Sweet Lou leading off against Tom Clowitter. As I mentioned, everybody's rested. Ground ball to third. Dave Roberts handles that one, okay. There's one down. Here's Jody Reed batting 500 on the season. He has been absolutely unstoppable. He's been walking, getting on base, and a base hit to center field. He is humming right along. So a base hit to center. Reed on first. He got his first stolen base of his career yesterday. Wait a minute. To steal second, it's only 51%? Who's the catcher? Sal Butera with an 82 arm. What? And Clowitter with a, he's a left hander. I mean, I guess I get it, but we're going to hit and run then. Stay out of the double play, and I don't know what's going on with Mickey Hatcher's overall ratings. Base hit to center field. That'll get Reed to third. First and third. One down. Next man up is George Brett. You know what? We're going to hit and run again. Um, otherwise, I feel like this would be a double play, especially with the way Clowitter's pitched against us. 
We need to at least get on the board here. Uh, Brett is 0 for 4 against Clawitter in his career. In his career. A ground ball to first. Run scores. Hatcher takes second base. Let's give Brett an RBI. 1 0 Detroit. Hatcher standing on second base for Glenn Wilson. Big Willie had the day off yesterday. Ground ball to first. And an error by the first baseman, Cecil Fielder. Let's see if we can take advantage of that. Hatcher on third. Here is Lance Parrish coming to the plate. He's had a couple big home runs lately. And there it goes! Right-handed batter hitting a home run in the Metrodome. Three-run shot for Parrish. Our lefty-righty platoon is starting to work out. Is it too late? That is the question. Here's Gibby. Tigers. 4-0 lead. Three of those runs are unearned. And Gibson taps it into the dirt in front of home plate. And an error by Butera. Okay, so they are trying to give it to us here. Runner on first. I was thinking about sending Gibson, but um, let's let Brock take a cut. I know he's not very good versus left-handers, but we got to give him a shot, and he pops it up into foul ground on the third base side. Play is made. So two costly errors and a three-run home run. The 12th of the season for Lance Parrish. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's do the Twins lineup rundown. Batting leadoff. Playing shortstop is Mike Fishlin. Batting second in right field is Hoskin Powell. Batting third in center field is Deion James. Batting cleanup playing first base is Cecil Fielder. Batting fifth at second base is Tim Tuffle. Batting sixth and DHing is Jim Eisenreich. Batting seventh in left field is Dave Edwards. Batting 8th at 3rd base is Dave Roberts. And batting ninth and catching is Sal Utera. Okay, let's take a look at Danny Jackson. Um, we just saw him make his Major League debut. He went 6 innings. He gave up no runs on 2 hits. Only walked 1. Struck out 4. A pretty decent performance. Was that against Seattle? Uh, yeah, it was against Seattle. He only threw 77 pitches. We cut him short. Uh, we wanted to get to the bullpen. Try to preserve the victory. We were able to do that, which was nice. Uh, overall, he is rated an 87. 21-year-old left. He doesn't go to arbitration until 86. This will be his last start, and then we'll stick him in the bullpen as we go to that four-man rotation. Take a look at the Tigers' defense. Pretty solid all the way around. We've got Parrish behind the plate. He threw out two Kansas City Royals base runners in yesterday's game. And Mike Fishlin leading off against Danny Jackson. Twins wearing the red helmets today. Fly ball to left. Gibby making the catch. One out. Got a couple lefties here. Hoskin Powell batting 299. Three home runs. And he strikes out. Danny Jackson getting Powell with a fastball. Two outs. Deion James up. James batting 158 versus left-handers. And a base hit to center field. That's uh, Eddie Miller out there in center field. He had a big hit. Um, a game-winning RBI two games ago. And uh, we're giving Bass a break. He wasn't tired. He just wasn't good. Here's uh, Big Daddy Cecil Fielder. Wow. He's got 28 home runs. Only 19 years old, right? Yeah. He's 19 years old in this game with 28 home runs batting 352 versus left-handers here we go 1-0 count and it's gone that's a laser you knew that was coming there's the first runs earned runs given up by Danny Jackson number 29 for Cecil Fielder and the lead is cut in half it's 4-2 to ground ball from Tuffle and the play is made. That's a line out. Scooped off the ground by Jody Reed. We go to the top of the second. Four to two. 
Eddie Miller leading off, number nine hitter. Been playing pretty good lately. Ground ball to third. There's out number one. Back to the top of the lineup with Lou. Whitaker's popping it up into foul ground on the third base side. Play is made by the third baseman, Roberts. Two quick outs for Clowitter. Here's Jody David, uh, Jody Reed, I should say. Jody Davis is the catcher. Uh, and Reed walks. He, you cannot get this guy out. I wish you could steal here. Instead, we're going to let Mickey Hatcher take a cut. And a base hit to left field. Um, no, I guess not. Not with George Brett coming up. Although he's 0 for 1 of the day. And 0 for 5 against Clowitter. First and second, two down. I looked it up. Do you know what George Brett's nickname was? I figure as a Hall of Famer, everyone who's in the Hall of Fame must have a nickname. I had never heard of it before. I looked it up. It's His nickname is Mullet. So uh, I guess you can draw your own conclusions. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Here is the left-hander, Jim Eisenreich, leading off against Danny Jackson. 3-2 count, and he strikes him out. There we go. Second K on the day for Danny Jackson. Next man up is Dave Edwards. Getting a start today in left field. Ground ball to third. Brett makes the play. Two down. Here's Dave Roberts. Batting 283, six home runs. Popping it up into foul ground. And an error, even though it was a foul ball. Error by Brett. Three errors today. Here's Sal Butera, runner on first. Wild pitch. Got to pull the outfield in now. Wow, Butera batting 320 versus... That's why he's in there. He's not the everyday starter on this team, I don't believe. And there's a pop-up. Hopefully Brett can catch this one. Outfield grass. And there we go. So the error goes for naught. We go to the top of the third. 4-2 Detroit. Here's Glenn Wilson leading off. Wilson, Parrish, and Gibson. Oh, did Wilson get all of it? Dead center field, 455 feet. That is Wilson's 21st home run on the year. It is 5-2. Tigers absolutely lighting Clowitter up today. Here's Parrish. He had the three-run home run. Base hit to center field. Get down. There we go. No, we're not going to go for two. Runner on first. Nobody out for Kurt Gibson. I know he's a left-hander. We're going to let him take a cut. Uh, gets, a, gets a bat on it, anyway. Hits a fly ball to right. One out. I mean, we have to play Gibson and we have to play Brock, even against left-handers. That's why I dropped him so far down the lineup. All I'm really doing is hurting their overall stats by having them in there. But, you know, defensively, they're the better option, so. Oh, there we go with a base hit for Brock to left field. He goes oppo, moving Parrish up to second. So, anytime we can get a hit from one of them, that is just a bonus. First and second, one down. Here's Eddie Miller. Grounded out the first time up. 2-2 two -two count. Popping it up on the infield. Straight up by the mound. Who's going to catch it? I can't how Clowitter makes the catch. He's doing it all. First and second, two down. Sweet Lou up. He's 0 for 2 today. And he sends it to center field. Pretty deep, just shy of the warning track for out number three. So the Tigers get a run on Glenn Wilson's 21st home run. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Tigers are up by three. Here's Mike Fischlin leading off. 
Fishlin popping it up right on the chalk on the first base side. Place made by Brock. Every time that happens now, I'm going to be like, it's probably going to be an error after the uh, error by Brett. One out. Here come the lefties, starting with Hoskin Powell. Powell bloops it into right field. It will be caught by Wilson. Good hustle. Two outs. Deion James up next, and he strikes out looking. Great job by Danny Jackson. We're going to the top of the fourth inning. Jody Reed leading off. One for one with a walk. Oh, one count, and he pops it up. Roberts makes the easy catch. One out. Here is Mickey Hatcher. He's two for two today. Striking out, looking. Nice curveball from Clowitter. That's his first K today. And George Brett still looking to do something against Clowitter. And he does nothing. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Danny Jackson at 50 pitches. And here is Cecil Fielder. Took him deep last time for a two-run home run. First pitch swinging. Ground ball that gets right through Jody Reed. And Fielder has a base hit. That could have easily been an error. Runner on first. Here's Tim Tuffle. 258, one home run. Ground ball to second. That should be an easy double play. Yeah, there we go. Big Daddy running. Got plenty of time. All right, that'll leave it up to Jim Eisenreich. I don't think I've ever mentioned this about Danny Jackson, but I uh, used to live in um, in Houston for many years, and Danny Jackson's got his name on a ball field. Um, it's a, I believe it's a Christian school, Danny Jackson Field, uh, down near Rice University, as Eisenreich grounds out to short. Uh, he's from, I believe he's from San Antonio. So I'm not sure why he has one in Houston, but he does. Okay, we go to the uh, top of the fifth inning. Tigers are up 5-2. to two. Here's Glenn Wilson. He's got a dong. And he walks. That is something Wilson does not do a lot. 20th walk on the season. Drives in the runs, though, so we're not going to complain. Runner on first. Here's Lance Parrish. He's 2-2 two for two today. He's got a dong. Oh, he crushed it. Upper deck in the dome. 438 feet. A double dong day for Big Wheel. His 13th on the season. It's 7-2 to Detroit. I like it. I like these games. Uh, this makes me feel better. Uh, and not stressed out as Gibson dumps it into left center field. There's a base hit. Nine hits. We're going to go for two here. Gibson is safe at second with a double. Good hustle. A hustle double. His 12th on the season. Not a lot of extra base hits for Gibby. Uh, but his OPS is at a career high. So he's getting it done. All right. So runner on second. Nobody out. Here's Greg Brock. He has a hit today. Let's just have him try to get it to the right side. There we go. Good job. Gibby will advance on that as the first baseman fielder steps on the bag. Uh, they're not playing in. They're down five. I guess makes sense. So a ground ball anywhere but third should score a run. Oh, that's even going to do more than that. No, actually it's going to do exactly that. It scores a run. It's a base hit. It's a double. Into center field driving in the run. Sixth double for Eddie Miller and Clowitter hits the showers. They're going to bring in Randy Neiman. You got a friend in me. Twelfth appearance, one and one, with an 8.26 ERA, 15 walks, 15 Ks. Opponents are batting 3.54 against him. Uh, in summary, he sucks. 
And he is a left-hander, so Sweet Lou, with one down, has to face another lefty. Popping it up. That was a nice screwball. Third baseman Roberts makes the catch. Next man up, Jody Reed. Reed swinging at a low and inside pitch. Kind of golfed it out there for out number three. So Tigers now have an 8-2 lead. Parrish, one-man wrecking crew. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. We've got three righties due up, but we're going to let Danny Jackson pitch to them. It's number seven, eight, and nine in the lineup. This will be it for Danny Jackson, and then maybe we'll get some uh, some uh, bullpen guys in there. Dave Edwards leading off with the ground out to short. One out. Here is Dave Roberts. A base hit in the center field. Only the fourth hit off of Danny Jackson. Runner on first, one down. Here's Sal Butero. Ground ball to third. Let's go around the horn. Nice, another double play. A good performance for Danny Jackson. He'll leave with the lead. We go to the top of the sixth inning. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. Parrish is three for three with two home runs and five RBI. So I think unless something horrific happens here, he's got it in the bag. And he'll get a shot, maybe this inning, to get his third home run. Okay, here's Sticky Mickey leading off against Randy Newman. Base hit. Up the middle. Hatcher's third hit of the game. Gotta like that. We could hit and run here for George Brett, but he's due. He's one of two Tigers that does not have a hit today. There we go. He gets on the board with a base hit. To left field, we don't need to advance Hatcher. It's not worth the risk. Up Six runs, and our big RBI guy is coming up. Here is Glenn Wilson. One for two. He's got a home run today. One-two count, and he strikes out. That screwball is amazing. Great job by Newman on that one. Doesn't get any easier, though, with Lance Parrish up. He's three for three. He's going for his third home run. Let's get it done right here. Come on. First pitch swinging. Oh, he just missed it. Dying right there at the warning track. And Hatcher will advance. That was risky, but again, we're up six, so a calculated risk. First and third for Kirk Gibson. Gibby's one for three today. Lefty on lefty violence. He strikes him out. Okay, we're going to the bottom of the sixth inning. Good job by Danny Jackson. That'll probably be it for him this season. Let's... I don't want to fudge around too much here. Let's bring in the creeper, Paul Gibson. We have not seen him in a little while. Since September 1st, so it's been 10 days, 11 days says the Creeper's been in a ball game and he did not fare so well against the Sox. So he'll get a chance to face a couple left-handers here. Here's Mike Fishlin leading off. And a base hit. Oh, come on. Runner on first. Here's Hoskin Powell. Wild pitch. Paul Gibson, I mean, for by and large, he's got a position in the bullpen for next year out of spring training. But he's still got to make an impression here as Powell hits a deep fly ball. That will be caught. Fishlin will tap. What? Fishlin holds. I mean, you don't run on Glenn Wilson. He does have four outfield, ass four outfield assists this season. One out, runner on second. This will probably do it for Paul Gibson with Big Daddy coming up. There we go. Fly ball to right. And now he'll tag and go to third. That doesn't make any sense at all. 
Um, okay, so we're going to pull out Paul Gibson. Should have been better. We're going to bring in Carl Willis. What you talking about, Willis? Ninth game, 1-0, 219 ERA. He's been great. I mean, let's just cut to the chase. He's been great. We need him to get the big boy, though. Here is Cecil Fielder. He's got a home run today, accounting for both Minnesota runs. Slow roller to short, and Reed throws him out. Good job by the bullpen. We go to the top of the seventh inning. 8-2 to two Detroit. Um, we're going to take out Brock, give him a break, and bring in Barbaro Garbet, who was terrible in yesterday's game. He got the start, um, but we, we got to get him a few more bats. Hitting against a left-hander, ground ball to third. Garbet is out. One down, here is Eddie Miller. Miller, one for three with an RBI. Flipping it down the left field line. That's going to be a, not a guaranteed double. We're going to go for it, though. 50-50 shot. He is out at second. Come on. I hope that doesn't um, cost us later as Whitaker strikes out. Okay. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning, eight to two, Detroit. Here's Tim Tuffle. Carl Willis just had one um, faced one batter, so I think we can go another inning with him here. Ground ball to short. It's out number one. Next man up is Jim Eisenreich, striking him out. Two quick outs here in the seventh as Dave Edwards steps up and he pops it straight up right up to of second base and the play is made. We are going to the eighth inning. Tigers are up eight to two. Um, Randy Newman's thrown 42 pitches in relief and he's only given up three. He's actually not been too bad. Okay, here is uh, Jody Reed. Brown ball into the hole, it's short. And an error by the shortstop, Mike Fishlin. That's a third error by the Twins today. Runner on first, here is Mickey Hatcher. Oh, sawed him off. That's a double play. Two outs. We are going to pull George Brett from the game and give Marty Castillo, a pinch hit today. He has not played at all this season. Uh, minimal over our simulation. And he can play third base. And so he will go out for third after the end of this inning. Here we go. First at bat up for Castillo. He ropes it into center. Caught. Oh, man. I thought he was going to get at least a double out of that. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Good job by Carl Willis. We're going to take him out of the ballgame and bring in Jeff Montgomery, probably future Tiger closer, somewhere down the line. We have not seen him. Well, no, I guess he did pitch one game uh, on September 2nd, so it's been a little while for him. Give him a shot here. He's 21 years old. So he hasn't, uh, he doesn't come up to the majors, I think, for two more seasons in real life. Let's see how he does here against Dave Roberts. Striking him out. Throw the heat. One out. Next man up is Sal Butera. Sal, ground ball to third. Testing out Marty Castillo. Two down for Mike Fishlin. And he strikes him out. Wow, nice performance by the bullpen today. We go to the top of the ninth inning. Last round of at-bats here. Parrish will get one more shot at his third home run. Glenn Wilson, he's got a dong today and another base hit. He's two for four with a walk. Runner on first. Here we go, folks. Lance Parrish, you know he's looking to go deep. 
Oh, he's going to flip it for a base hit. Four for five for Lance Parrish. Nicely done. First and second. Nobody out. I think we have to let Gibby take a cut here. 1-1 one, one count and a base hit into center field. That'll score Wilson. What? What are we doing here? How is Wilson not scoring on that? Unbelievable. Gibson's got it. Throwing his hands up over at first base. All right, Barbaro Garbet. Garbet needs a big hit. This season's been kind of a disaster, although he is betting 308 versus left-handers. Full count. Ground ball to third. Is that around the horn? No, only one out on that play. A force at second. Run scores. That was Wilson crossing the plate. 9-2 to two Detroit. Here's Eddie Miller. Fast Eddie. One. I'm sorry, two for four with an RBI. Miller strikes out on the corner. Gotta be taking the bat off your shoulders. Sweet Lou, the only Tiger today without a hit, is 0 for 5. That's brutal. And an infield single and an RBI. Neiman tired at 75 pitches, all in relief. They're just not cutting this guy any breaks. It's a long series, so maybe we're trying to get through this today. Here's Jody Reed. 1 for 4 with a walk. And he strikes out looking. So we're going to the bottom of the ninth inning. Tigers put two more on the board. It's 10 to 2. We're going to bring in a lefty. We're going to bring in Morris Madden. We might convert him. Um, well, we're either going to convert him or we're going to trade him next year for a valuable piece because his numbers are great. His ratings are fantastic. His future is, you know. Um, I mean, there's, there's no ceiling for him. 96 is pretty good, but I I don't know. We have, we had to choose between Danny Jackson or Morris Madden. Danny Jackson has shown that he's got the upper hand. Brown ball to second. There's one out. Here's Deion James. He walks Deion James. Big Daddy. He's already got a home run today. We're not taking... Morris out unless we uh, Morris Madden out unless we're in a real jam here. Popping it up, there we go. Fielder pops out to second. We're down to the final out. It is Tim Tuffle, who's 0 for 3 today, and another walk. Come on. Well, that's all right. We're, he's going to face Jim Eisenreich. It's lefty on lefty. Eisenreich, a 224 hitter. And he strikes him out to end the ball game. Tigers win 10 to 2. Handshakes, butt snaps, snappy stakes. Let's see, where does that get us in the standings? Okay, we do gain a game back. We're four games back now with 15 to go. Kansas City eliminated officially. Um. California half game up on Seattle National League. Oh, Montreal now half game up on New York. And Atlanta half game up on Cincinnati. So those are going to come right down to the wire. Uh, let's take a look at headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. California wins 2-1. to one, Take over first. You son of a bitch. He struck out five in nine innings. Uh, Dennis Worth went hitless. Otis Nixon. Uh, unable to reach base in seven at-bats. Did this go into extra innings? It had to have, right? Seven at-bats. Um, yep. Okay, next up. Tigers chasing down the Yankees. This is Carl Willis. 10-2 um, win. Minnesota's offense got little help. The Twins got no offense from Fishlin. Jim Eisenreich did jack poop. And Detroit got five innings from Danny Jackson. Nice. Okay. Well, I did mention 
that uh, Lance Parrish had four hits, including two home runs. Transactions. Nothing new since Seaman. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Hey, get in on that contest. You're going to watch the game anyway when I play the 1980 uh, Detroit Lions alternate history. Why not try to win something? Um, okay, so Lance Parrish, player of the game. Four for five, three runs scored, five RBI. Glenn Wilson scored four runs. He also had a home run, even walked. That's amazing. Jody Reed, solid. Uh, Whitaker had that infield single, so every Tiger got a hit uh, that, were, that was in the starting lineup. Gibby had a 12th double. Eddie Miller had a double. Danny Jackson does get his second win in two starts. Paul Gibson. Oh, the whole bullpen. Let's just say the whole bullpen did their gerb. Not feeling too great about Morris Madden, but he did not give up a run. So, uh, Tom Klobitter takes the loss. We exact a little revenge on him. Randy Neiman um, went four and two thirds, giving up two runs. So, Big Daddy had a home run. Okay, that's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow with game two of the four game series. Until then, everyone, have a great night.